Hello! Well, as you may or may not know, I built a few guitars in the past. Unfortunately, I don't have a build video because it was before I started making YouTube videos. But if you're interested, I actually do have a slideshow and you can find the link in the description below the video. And a few weeks ago, I got parts of an electric bass guitar for free. I got the neck, complete with tuning packs, the bridge and springs. And I also got a pickup. So I think I'm going to build myself an electric bass guitar. Well, I believe these parts are from a cheap Korean bass guitar. And especially the pickup looks, well, let's say, very interesting, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I don't want to use expensive wood for the build. So I think I will build the body out of this piece of ash glue lamb. So I like to use some carbon paper to trace the template onto the wood. So I just made some measurements for the neck pocket and usually I would use a router to route out the neck pocket and the pickup cavity but uh, in this case since these are two thin boards that I will later glue together I think I'll try to cut out the neck pocket on a scroll saw. Not too bad. Okay, now I have to figure out where to position the bridge. And the way to do this is uh, to measure from the 1st to the 12th fret. And take the exact same distance from the 12th fret to the bridge position. So the bridge will actually be located right here. Okay, I installed the bridge temporarily and I clamped down the neck and now I will see if the intonation is right and if I measured correctly. Okay, sounds good to me. Okay, now I marked the position for the pickup cavity and I'm going to use the scroll saw to cut it out. Okay, and now I'm going to glue these two boards together. Okay. I will use the band saw to cut out the shape of the guitar body, but you could easily use a jigsaw. Now I need to drill a channel for the pickup cable to the input jack.
Okay, I just tried out if the pickup will fit, but unfortunately the pickup cavity isn't deep enough. So I guess I have to use a router with a guide bearing and make the channel a little bit deeper. Okay, and now it fits. Okay, and now, as always in woodworking, there's a lot of sanding. And because sanding creates a lot of dust, I think I'll try to do the most sanding outside. And some final hand sanding with 220 grit. So now that the body is sanded, I have to finish it. And I think the best way to finish a guitar is by French polishing. Well, for those of you who don't know what French polish is, well, in simple terms, it's a special way to apply shellac with a pad. Well, and if you'd like to know more about French polish, I put some links in the description below this video.
And I must say, it turned out better than I expected. Now, there are still some things to be done. For example, the frets need some dressing, and I think I'll change the pickup for a better one. But other than that, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> and I really like the look of the glue lamp. You know, first I thought I better paint it because <laughs> it's only glue lamp. But now I'm happy that I didn't. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, and see you next time. I guess I have to practice a little bit more. <laughs>